Carly, Kendall, Olivia. See which stars wore dresses right off the runway and out to party at Paris Haute Couture. Clueless turns 20. 10 fashion commandments we still follow from the iconic movie. Ugh, as if. Is the underbutt the new underboob? We discuss. I don't really need a butt window. Plus, Nicole Richie plays a special bikini round of Oh Hey, No Way. It's all ahead on We Spy Style. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. I'm Allison McNamara, along with pop show editor Ryan Roschke. Hey! And style blogger Rachel Wynn from That Chic. Welcome! Hi. Hi, so what have you been up to recently? Um, I don't know, I've just been traveling a lot, trying to get my YouTube videos up. It's a lot of work. Yeah! Make sure to go check out our site, it is awesome. So we've talked a lot about this year's hottest trends on the show. So when I recently caught up with Nicole Richie at her House of Harlow 1960 pop-up store here in LA, I had to see how she felt about the newest trends in a swimwear special round of Oh Hey or No Way. Check it out. Hi guys, I'm here at the Grove for Nicole Richie's pop-up shop for House of Harlow 1960. Where's, where's Nicole? Ta-da! I'm right here. <laughs> We so, actually wanted to play a game with you to get you candid on like summer swimsuit trends. Okay. First up, um, thong bikinis. Wait, what city? <laughs> Here. Okay. What city would you wear one? I probably wouldn't. Okay. I would. I mean, I like a, I like a full bottom. Me too. I'm, I'm all Tops about the. Tops aren't necessary, but. I'm with you on that. How about speedos for men? Okay. What about ones if your guy wore a speedo? <laughs> Uh, how about the nude bikini? A lot of celebrities are wearing this right now. Down. Okay, why do you like it? I love nude. I love nude, I love a camel, why not? How about crochet? I like crochet. I know people don't. Yeah, so why do you I like do. it? I just do. I'm drawn to it, I like it, I wear it. Totally. How about wearing your swimsuit as a leotard or an actual piece of clothing? I, I do it. Okay, how, do what's it your so styling trick for well, that? Well, I, I like a bodysuit, so I'll wear it with like some vintage Levi's Cute. jeans. Last one. Okay, there are these things that are popular right now, I guess, called overall swimsuits, where they're just like the bottom with the string. And no top. And no top. Nips out? Nips out. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. All right. So what do you guys think about these trends? Do you agree with Nicole? You know, I mean, I'm I'm really torn on the Speedo thing. Like, okay, I, yes! I like don't always feel like I want to rock one, but I would like the freedom to wear a Speedo if I... Want to? Would they be more liberating? You, yeah, yeah. See, I, I couldn't. I just wouldn't do that to the world. <laughs> What's your favorite swimsuit trend that you've seen? Um, I have to agree with Nicole. I really like the crochet. Me too. I just like it looks DIY. It's like my grandma made this for me. It's a little scandal. <laughs> yeah. Be sure to check out my full interview with Nicole at Pop Sugar Fashion. And if you're in LA, make sure to swing by her pop-up shop at the Grove if you guys get time to. Oh, yeah. You will not regret it. Right now, one thing that Nicole mentioned that stood out to me in that interview was her affinity for the bodysuit, okay? Which actually inspired this We Spy. Check it out. Say hello to summer's hottest getup, the bodysuit. Kim Kardashian isn't a newbie when it comes to rocking the one piece. She actually might be the bodysuit's biggest fan, but she's not alone. Rihanna has been known to wear a leotard or two, along with Beyonce and JLo. But it's the Instagram girls who are really taking the bodysuit to a new level. Kiara Fernangi first wore this Reformation black lace-up bodysuit, as did model Emily Ratajkowski, and since then, Reformation can barely keep it in stock. Also fans of the trend, Rumi Neely, Jane Aldridge, and Courtney Troop. So Rachel, how do you feel about the bodysuit? I love it. Except when you have to go to the bathroom. That sucks. Yeah, you have to do like either the pull side or like the full. <laughs> or like and it's just jacket, never good. Yeah. But any styling tips when it comes to wearing the bodysuit for you? Um, I like it. Like the tighter the better with a tight pair of jeans. I just think it's really womanly. Yeah, it's like I agree. It's sexy. If you're gonna like go for it, you may as well go for it. Like it's yeah. already gonna be tight. You should just go like tight head to toe. What about girls who are afraid to try this out? What would be your tip to them? Ooh. I would say go for a long sleeve. Ooh, I, I like the long elegant. sleeves. I like yeah. the turtlenecks too. Yes. But it's spring, summer right now, so maybe not the most practical. Well, how about girls of all different body types? Do you think they can wear this trend or? Absolutely. I do too because, you know, I yeah. think it's better to like wear fitted things and show off like a small waist and then like, mm -hmm. you know, with the bodysuit and then wear like a high-waisted thing with it. Well, we've been following every look coming out of Paris here at Pop Sugar. Here are some of the biggest highlights so far. Olivia, Rosie, Kendall. The fashion set is turning heads and showing some major skin at Paris Haute Couture Week. Let's start with Versace. Donatella turned up the heat with a runway full of hippie flower princesses decked out in couture. Carly Kloss opened the show in a lilac stunner. Dowson Crows wore gray, and Kendall Jenner was dark and romantic. Rose Annington Whiteley sat front row in a look fresh off the runway, even showing a little underbutt. 
She changed into another Versace look for the Enfar dinner later in the evening, and supermodels Carly, Dalson, and Joan Smalls liked their looks so much, they wore them straight off the runway to the party. We can see why. Dior Couture always gets a killer front row. Olivia Palermo mixed prints, Lupita Nyong'o sizzled in red, Grimes sparkled, Rosie showed serious leg, and Emily Blunt looked sweet and white. On the runway, there was a little bit of everything. Sexy sheer sides, billowy maxi dresses, sparkly platforms, even a little fur. We have to talk about another Olivia Palermo look, her front row outfit for the Scaparelli show. Who knew a sexy plunging dress could look so innocent? Now, Karl Lagerfeld knows how to put on a spectacle for the Chanel show. Show. This year, he transformed the Grand Palais into an ultra-chic casino, complete with Chanel slot machines. The Circle Privé collection touched on the glamour of the 1920s and 1930s, with models wearing Chanel's classic tweeds along with stunning flapper dresses. Kendall closed the show in a gorgeous white suit, while celebrities took their turn at Lady Luck, including Kristen Stewart, Julianne Moore, and Lily Rose Depp. Talk about a show! For more updates on Paris Haute Couture Fall 2015, check Pop Sugar Fashion. All right, can we talk about those cheeky looks from Rosie Anington Whiteley and Nikki Hilton at the Versace show for a second? How do we feel about these? You know, I'm not really feeling it. <laughs> You're not going to wear one tomorrow I'm on Weezy? I'm not going to wear it. I, you know, I feel like I don't really need a butt window. Like, I thought the <laughs> eyes were the window to the soul, not the butt. You were wrong, my friend. I you were wrong. I am. How do you I feel about am. it? <laughs> I just don't want to see it. I want under boob. Yeah. Yes. Under boob is definitely like trumps the under butt. Right. I mean, it's so much it's so much more doable too, yeah. you know? Yeah. I wonder if Versace was trying to make this happen. I think it's like, like two like, girls, well, right. two butts. I mean, and you see, you know, like you see under butts like with shorts and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Fourth and of July. At, right. Yeah. And there are appropriate yeah. places for under butt, but it's like this is like watch us try to steer under butts in an mm -hmm. elegant direction, and I'm not but here like, for that. Is there ever really an appropriate place for an under butt? Besides Fourth of July, I don't know. And Nikki's looks like a mistake. And yeah, I don't yes. know what's happening in the front either. Mm -hmm. no. The front, it almost looks like it was just too short to begin with. Like if I was to yeah. see that dress on me, I would think it was just too short. Oh. That is grazing something that if she lifts her arm, it's just also it's dangerous. Yeah, when she's coming down the stairs and stuff, like that's some dangerous territory. So now let's talk a little throwback fashion. Were you guys fans of the movie Clueless? Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Right. I would say goodbye and farewell <laughs> if you weren't. But you are not alone. Fashion has had an obsession with the 90s cult classic. 20 years later, we're still taking style cues from Cher Horowitz and her friends. Here's more. Ah, oh, as if. Clueless is turning 20. And to celebrate, we put together the 10 clueless commandments of fashion that we still swear by. One, do wear matching sets. Sure, Cher made them cool in 1995. We still want that yellow and plaid Dolce & Gabbana outfit. And matchy-matchy outfits are still hot today. I mean, hello, Taylor Swift. Two, you don't understand, this is an alaya. Clueless totally introduced us to all the major designers. Minimal Calvin Klein dresses? Check. Over-the-top Azadine Alaya jackets? Check. And satin Jimmy Choo's? Check. Number three, always say no to guys with baggy pants down to there. Happen like we're expected to swoon? Four, in fact, guys shouldn't be afraid to take risks and let their fashion side shine. The jacket? Is it James Dean or Jason Priestley? Number five, this one is always hard to swallow, but imitation is always the biggest form of flattery. Is that you going for my laundry? As if, like, I would really wear something from Judy's. Six, say yes to flannel. Almost every character in Clueless wore it. Ty, Josh, Travis, everyone except Cher, that is. The flannel shirt deal, is that a nod to the crispy Seattle weather or are you just trying to stay warm in front of the refrigerator? Number seven, speaking of Ty, she taught us one valuable lesson in hair care. Do not overdo it with the dye. And Dion taught us the importance of investing in extensions. I do not wear polyester hair, okay? Eight. Girls and guys, don't be afraid of hats. After all, Christian's fedora was his real claim to fame. Number nine, don't overthink it. When in doubt, keep it classic. Moto jackets and white tees for guys, simple sheath dresses for the ladies. And number 10, it's called retail therapy for a reason. No, really, shopping does make you feel better, especially when you have your bestie in tow. What about like some things that you took away from the movie, like fashion lessons you learned? I wanna dress like I'm always in a teenage bedroom. Like okay. always. Yeah. yeah. You know, like yeah. with some like pink fur all the time. <laughs> like Marabou. I'm Perfect. still looking for that Dolce & Gabbana yellow plaid 
outfit. Oh, you might have to There's, just get that specially tailored I don't think, or something. Yeah, like just take it to a tailor and have them make it yeah. because it is so good. You know, I have to say, like, I, th- it really helped me bring hats back into my life because I was always scared oh. of hats. And I feel like fedoras, like, get kind of a bad rep, They you get know? a really bad they rep. They do, but if you if you wear them right and accessorize them right, they can be fedorable, I think. Fedorable? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Christian Sorry. had a really good I way of to, styling you know? them. That was really cute. That was really cute. <laughs> All right, well, that's a wrap. That's already it. That's a wrap on We Spice Style. Thanks for joining us, Rachel, this oh week. God, I loved it. Of course, and make sure to check out her site, That Chic, and leave us a comment below telling us how you feel about bodysuits, underbutts, and clueless fashion all below, all right? And don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe. Bye! Bye. Bye! Bye!